Put on your seatbelt. The only thing we can hope is that all that wasted time, all that lack of character, all those lazy jokes, at least have been sacrificed for one hell of an epic climax. You're fucking kidding me. You're goddamn fucking kidding me! That was the end of the movie? That was the end of the movie? That Did you see the first film that you apparently made? Did you even take a glance at it before you made this piece of... If you don't recall how the first film ended, I'll give you a little reminder. It had... And... 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 And you have... Put on your seatbelt. <sighs> Movie. I'm not angry. Yes, I am. I'm furious. But there's something I'm even more. And that's... Disappointed. I'm disappointed in you, movie. The same people that brought us a comedy classic. An icon. Something they make statues of. Has 18 years to put together a follow-up. And this is what we get. Oh. Well, this isn't very much fun, is it? <laughs> I think I just wet myself. It feels rather nice. Oh. Fat dish movie. Before she makes it upstairs, the commandos decide to recruit her very bizarre Barbie collection, including Spartan Barbie, Yodeling Barbie, and Fifty Shades of Grey Barbie? Uh, request a three-day pass, sir. Denied! Okay, not that the existence of these Barbies isn't awesomely awesome, but there are some pretty strange and specific outfits in here, especially that one. I mean, why would anyone have such strange and peculiar... No, oh, I'm sure I'm reading too deep into it. I mean, I'm sure this isn't anyone's weird perverted fantasy. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Let's do something fun. Fetish movie. Will you take me to the prom? <laughs> You've been a bad boy, and now you must be punished. Fet, you know. So the once lair, of course, tells the story about what happened to all the trees, naturally keeping his face hidden throughout the story so, like I said before, he can represent how this can happen to anyone. Anyone watching right now- Fuck you, 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 fuck you! Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. After all, it is an hour and a half long movie. An hour and a half is a long time to go without seeing your... kinda main character. I mean- it's an adaptation. I got it. There's gonna have to be changes from an adaptation. Fair enough. At the very least, they're making him timeless. Somebody that everyone can look back on years later and not laugh at for being so incredibly dated and dumb. I'm gonna chop one down and make my knee I don't care for that. Critic will go to the internet and tell all your fans that the movie was great. Damn it, Will Smith, we're not even father and son, so even by your movie's logic, how does this make any sense? Through the magic of contrived Shyamalan twists, for you see, I am your father. No, you're not. Brother. Nope. Sister. Ew. Puppy. Not a person. French vanilla. Now you're just naming coffee creamers. Fine. I'm really... Shyamalan. Aw, oh, damn it. Am I really so predictable? How are you even here? I killed you two times! I'm Shyamalan. Nothing with my name on it makes any sense. 
If you want continuity, go watch a Linkara video. <laughs> Why does everybody keep on hiring me? All of my work is shit. What have you heard? What might only be the tall tale. Moving on, I guess. No one even batted an eye. Is this like an everyday thing? When did killing a vampire become yesterday's news? Yeah, I don't care where or when you are, and again, neither does Uva Ball, but killing a vampire will never be a boring thing. Guys, guys, holy shit, you won't believe it, I just killed the vampire. Was it a Nazi vampire? Well, technically no, but... <sighs> oh, please, Cinema Snob, everybody knows that Nazi vampires are all the rage now. Yeah, what you did is like the Bing search engine of vampire killings. But he killed a family of six! Go away, Cinema Snob, I can't even stand to look at you. Okay, uh, I guess I can drop his clothes off at the Goodwill or... Something. You do that. Nope. This is the work of a young vampire. We have work to do. Um, thank you for chopping off the heads of our dead people. And burning their bodies. She didn't mean to bite me. And stabbing our performers. I'm sorry, have you been helped? Seriously, did these people ever react to anything? Why does nobody care that these wackos are chopping up their dead and living cast members? Just another fad gone passe, I guess. Guys, guys, I just decapitated 20 corpses and stabbed an injured woman through the chest. No reason, really. I'm just kind of sick. Were they ninja decapitated corpses? <laughs> I didn't ask what their martial arts background was. Oh, snob. Everyone knows if there's any decapitated corpses we're talking about, it's ninja decapitated corpses. Does this guy ever wake up? They sneak without thought, man. But I have a thirst for blood that can't be quenched. Away with you, snob. You become more dated with every passing view. <sighs> Why won't someone help me? <laughs> You like to watch the porn stars? That is a lie! It is so obviously scripted. Who could be as stupid as Chum Lee? You are a fraud. A fraud! It's getting worse. I just bit the neck of a prostitute and no one seems to notice. Was it a zombie prostitute? What the hell is wrong with everyone? Any man who's got the guts to sell his soul for love. Fucking A, this is My Little Pony fan fiction! Can't you just see an episode ending like that? Anyone who would give their soul for love has the power to change the world. Isn't that right, Ghost Pony Rider? <laughs> right! And remember, kids, some mother buckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. Ghost Pony Rider! Ghost Pony Rider His head is flaming but his story's tragic Cause he never knew friendship was magic Ghost Pony hey, Rider Hey, critic, 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 Wait, didn't you do this joke before? Look, I don't know the scientific explanation for it, but for some reason, every single time somebody says pony on the internet, the views go through the roof! They do? Yeah! What? Pony! Pony! Oh, by the way, look out for the Ghost Pony Rider cameo. What Ghost Pony Rider? I knew we'd get in there somehow. Oh, Disney afternoon is over. Now what do we do? Son, you do your homework right now. Oh, but mom! Your butt is what I'm gonna kick if you don't get to your algebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta do your homework. <laughs> you too, Malcolm.
Mom? That's right, you better get your butt busy right now. You got my mom? No, I want it to be authentic. Wait, did you get mine too? No, she was all the way out in California and I was too lazy to get a ticket. So I got your grandma. Yo, lady, you be getting your ass into them books or I'm gonna be getting this fist into your eyes. Well, I got a grandma. Don't make me whack my boot upside the downside of your backside. Wow, she's like the white black grandma we all have. Ducks rock! <sighs> I'm the nostalgia critic and playtime's over. Go do your homework. while listening to music because of course it helps you study so much better. I'm the Nostalgia Critic Guy, remember it so you don't have to! Uh, isn't that usually it? Not quite. Aren't you forgetting something, Critic? Tamara, the hell are you doing here? The review is over. There's one famous part you forgot to mention. The most famous part of the movie, and my all-time favorite scene. Not no. the no be. No, God damn it! Everybody talks about that stupid scene. The internet has talked about this stupid scene since the beginning. A stupid scene. We are not talking about that stupid scene. I'm not talking about that stupid scene. You're not talking about that stupid scene. You're not talking about that stupid scene. We are not talking about that stupid scene. I thought you'd say that, which is why we've come to make sure that you follow through. Over four million hits on YouTube. Countless quotes in countless forums. It cannot be ignored. It is your destiny. No. The, the more, more obvious, obvious the joke, joke the, the more, more it has, has to, to be addressed. addressed. No. The, the more obvious the joke, the more it has to be addressed. Wait, you think saying that in unison is somehow gonna change my mind? No, but this will. Oh. Reference the bees. Never. Ah! Reference the bees. Never! Ah! <laughs> I'll see you in hell, you fucking smurfette! Best Nicolas Cage movie ever. Bad loot. Oh god, it's Danny Elfman. What's the matter, critic? I thought you enjoyed my musical composition. Yeah, for the first ten years, now all your stuff sounds like the filler music you skip on soundtracks. Oh, but critic, don't you know that kind of repetition is what makes Burton Land so popular? It's Tim. Baton! The spirals everywhere. It's Tim. Let's get you fucked up hair. It's Tim. Where everything is style over substance, but it looks good, so who cares? It's Tim. It's Tim. Baton! All angles are skew. It's Tim. With foggy lenses, too. It's Tim. We're all supporting characters. Our king's holding the movies on the wings, and all the leads are about as interesting as glue. It's Tim! This world of such uniqueness has been done a million times. A dark and gloomy outlet for suburbanites to whine. And though it's saying little, hipsters think you're saying more. It's selling much more whiteness than a rich albino whore. Remakes, reboots, they're making us a ton of loot. And anything that's new is rare. And yes, the style's showing wear and tear, but all the profit's clearly there. And will it give or we don't care? Try something different, we don't dare. 
does all supplies of Doc and Dive for making millions by the share. Tim Burns! Oh!